for that oversight, this queen walking into range, but you can't actually see anything, so that was kind of a weird decision as well. It did save the drone's life and sacrifice the queen <laughs> for the good of the drones. Uh, normally, you want to save the queen, right? That's how the British do it. Yes. But uh, not the case for the Zerg hive mind. And very nice job. Uh, Select does pull out a range of the scan. He's going to be okay. He's going to go after a couple of these infestors There's as well. Ah, there is an overseer. So these uh, the defense here is going to be quite a bit better. There's the fungal going down on top of the... Oh, finally he does manage to catch it. <laughs> Wasted a couple of fungal growths, though. And Select is going to try... He's got Turn around, away. queen. Ah. That queen could have just done one jab at it. Oh, well. But Druby's moving now against Select with a big force of some upgraded marines and marauders. Select is headed the other way with his entire fighting force. So lots of SCVs having to be pulled already at Select space. Is Select going to turn around or just commit? Actually, he's just going to sit there and not do anything. He's trying to micro all of his SCVs back at home, get all his yep. buildings in safe range. But Druby is just going to power through here. There are just not enough units. And having Optic Zero basically dead for the majority of this game means that his teammate is sitting useless there while Select loses that Orbital Command. Druby is going to actually pull home to try and help defend. Uh, picking up that Orbital Command was a pretty good pickup. He might even go walk over to Optic Zero's base and finish him off uh, mm -hmm. with those remaining Marines and Marauders. <laughs> His Optic Zero at uh, 14 and a half minutes finally has a, um, a Cybernetic score down, so nice job there. <laughs> Select is going to be able to do some damage here, but these Fungal Growth and Infested Terran and Infestors are going to be able to make their way <laughs> in, and yes, this is going to clean up the rest of the attack forces. Select an Optic Zero down to, well, not much left, and they are almost mined out of the main as well, so he has to long range mine the rest of his units, which is not going to be fun for Select at all. It is going to significantly hamper his economy. We do have another Banshee making its way out, going to try and do some more damage, but right now we're taking a look at 165 supply to 115. Optic Zero, though, leave him alone, and he is going to go back up the three gates, so slowly but surely trying to find his way back into it. He should go for a Mothership Rush. I would. It's a I natural stage, transition. Stage 2 Mothership Rush. <laughs> Lose your entire base, go for the Mothership. Surprise your enemies. But uh, Katz has enough Infestors here. He can actually do some very good damage. Against the Select's economy, if Druby just consolidates his forces here, Druby actually hasn't even built anything beyond Marines and Marauders this entire game. It's kind of interesting. No tanks or... Uh, oh, actually, I was watching the wrong tab there. He does have some medevacs actually starting to come out now, but we haven't seen any mech or any anything in the air, really. I think we might have seen a Viking earlier to help clean up that Banshee, but that's basically it. So Druby is going to consolidate all of his forces, let those medevacs heal them up a little bit, and... Not sure why he's just hanging around back here. He, they must certainly know that uh, Optic Zero is sort of uh, just rebuilding from scratch, and they just killed yeah. a ton of Select's units, so they probably could have just countered there and, you know, dropped the hammer, but we'll see um, how long they're going to wait around and think, how many times they're going to expand. I think Katz was gearing up for a big bro to Fester push at first, and it looks like he is indeed going to start moving out, or at least to the top of the Zelnaga Tower here, as he likes to do, but there are still enough cannons sitting here for Optic Zero that he's not going to be able to make his way into the main. But Optic Zero is going up to another base. He is back up to 50 supply. He has sentries down. He's got a pretty significant force developing, uh, but Druby is just going to be able to exponentially increase his power as he moves on. He's on three bases, going to his fourth. That's almost finished up, and he's going to be able to reinforce like mad. It is going to require an amazing defense out of select to be able to hold this off. I'm curious now to see whether Druby and Katz, after they rally up here, if they go after Optic Zero or Select, they have significantly hampered both of their ability to create anything, but it looks like they are on the side of Optic Zero. Uh, there's a lot of sentries and not a whole lot else damage dealing uh, for Optic Zero actually on the field. Only a handful of uh, Zealots, more sentries being warped in now, and they're, they're here at the doorstep. Big line of force fields come down, missed fungal there from Cats, and that's just a result of being pushed back by that force field, banking it a little bit slower, but vision is granted, medevacs are just picking up everything, we don't care about your force field, you're just going to drop inside of your main and kill everything there is, and Select trying to respond now from the bottom side, he is actually going to pick off some of these infestors, Cats just needs to turn around and drop some fungals, there we go, and one more fungal on each of those bio units will be enough there, everything just explodes into blood and guts, another string of infestors coming now to defend against Select. Lex defense, and Druby's just in the main killing everything else. Oh no! He ah. just right-clicked all of his infestors, so siege tanks are actually exacting their damage, and those, oh my god, those infestors did almost nothing, but Dr thankfully Druby has enough forces, and he's going to be able to take out the rest of this from Optic Zero. There's the GG from Select and Optic Zero. Game is going to be over. Game 2 going to Team Assassins. They move up 2 to nothing in this best of 7.